So number 15 from the 2012 AP Calc exam. It's a multiple choice question that just kind of checks to see if you're able to make connections between uh, functions and their derivatives from a graphical standpoint. So in this particular problem, they give us a graph of f. But then what they do is they define this new function h of x. And h of x is dependent on f, right? So h of x is the in integral of f from 0 to x with respect to some parameter t. Which of the following is true? So if you look at what our options all involve, they all involve h of 6, h prime of 6, and h double prime of 6. So if you think about finding h prime of 6 or h double prime of 6, obviously you're going to need to know what h prime of x and h double prime of x are first. So if you use the fundamental theorem of calculus to realize that doing the derivative of a function that's defined this way with respect to its upper limit of integration is as simple as having the function within the integral come out with the upper limit of integration replacing the parameter, in this case t, uh, you get that h prime of x is equal to f of x. And then if you need h double prime as well, which we do need here to figure out what h double prime of 6 is, taking the derivative of both sides of this equation gives us h double prime of x is equal to f prime of x. So then the issue becomes, okay, now h of 6, h prime of 6, h triple prime of 6, h double prime of 6, excuse me, which of these will have the, the biggest value, which will have the smallest value? So for h of 6, you didn't necessarily need any of these because that h of x was provided. So you just needed to put 6 in place of the x in the function h of x. So when 6 goes up here, we see that h of 6 is the integral from 0 to 6 of f of t with respect to t. So by definition, a definite integral corresponds to an exact signed area. So the value of this is going to be all of this space right here. That space from 0 to 6 is entirely below the x-axis, and therefore that's got to be a negative value. If you think about h prime of 6, h prime of 6 is going to correspond to f of 6, f of 6, you can take right off of the graph. f of 6 is 0, right? Just the y value from the graph, since this is essentially a graph of h prime of x. For h double prime of 6, we need to realize that it's going to correspond to f prime of 6. Well, if this is a graph of f, we're going to look at the slope of the graph at 6 in order to find its derivative value at that spot. And the slope of the graph at 6 is definitely positive. So we have the function value for h at 6 being negative, the derivative value at 6 being 0, and then the second derivative value at 6 being positive, meaning the smallest is the function value, the middle one is the first derivative value, and the largest is the second derivative value. So it looks like our answer is actually choice A.